Going to pick up the new car for the channel today, boys. Some of you may already know what it was because I already made a video on it. But I'm finally bringing it to my house from where it's been in storage for the last nine years. Going to put the Colorado to the test towing a car, which I haven't done before. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Got to grab a trailer, got to load it up, drive back, get it unloaded, and push it into the garage, which for you will happen in just a snap. Yep, that's good. dolly which I've never towed with before so this is interesting try to get a full trailer but U-Haul didn't have any so here we are it has some very old tires that I hope don't blow out at about an hour and a half drive pray for us two hours later Anything you set your mind to. Anything you set your mind to. Anything. So let me introduce to you guys again for like the 500 people who watched the first video. Uh, most of you probably haven't seen this car. This is my 1984 318i. And it is in absolutely fantastic condition. And I'll take it at face value because it's obviously covered in dirt grease, grind, etc. because it's been sitting for close to 10 years. And before that, it sat in some other guy's shop for I don't know how many years. Before I dive too deep into this and show you guys all the details of this thing, and you at least get all the dust and grime off of it, especially before it gets too cold because it's already getting cold in Pennsylvania. And today's not terrible. Let me rinse some of this crap off. This is going to be cold. Okay, very quick and basic wash and dry is done. And now I gotta do the engine bay. As you'll see here, I have some explaining to do with what is or isn't in the engine bay. Let's degrease that real quick. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty gross in here. 
do a little bit of prep and uh, get to scrubbing. Okay, um, round one of like seven to clean this engine bay. So you guys just stand by and I'll give you a look in a few minutes or hours when I'm done and pretty happy with it. This isn't gonna be perfect. I just wanna get as much gunk and grime out of there as I can. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not using my pressure washer, it's cause it's dead and I don't know why it died. All right, engine bay is cleaned up. Not quite as nice as I would have liked, but no pressure washer, only so much I can do. But it's looking much better. I gotta peel all that old foam stuff off there. As you see, it was just blown off with the garden hose. The rest of it, I got most of the grease off. Could get a lot more, but I'm pretty happy with that for now. So I'm gonna pull this thing, well, actually push by myself, this thing back inside, and we'll go over the whole car and all my plans for this build. Out of breath. One foot at a time. Over the hump. Okay. All right, so now we are all cleaned up and I'll show you this thing completely. It is exceptionally clean. Is it perfect? No, of course not. It's almost 40 years old. But for being a 1984, it is excellent condition. So I'll show you all the bottoms of the rockers, the wheel wells, all the way along. You see here the passenger side, perfect. No rust at all, not a lick of rust. And it's the exact same thing on the driver's side. Not a spot anywhere, not even surface rust. The only spot of rust on this whole car is the battery tray, and all it is is some surface rust. It's nothing major. Basically, I'll be able to just grind all that off and repaint. Now, the reason there's no engine or transmission in this car, in this car is because the guy I bought it from, he said it wasn't idling right, running right, which is very common for M10s. I don't know if any of you guys have had M10s. If you have, let me know your thoughts, because I had another M10, another 84 318i. It was a complete rust bucket, but it was my daily for a while. It never ran right. like. Occasional misfires, the idle was always terrible. It's just M10 suck. So he removed it. I think he was gonna rebuild it. Ended up abandoning the project. I picked up the car for a thousand bucks. And let me show you the inside. I mean, absolutely incredible. All but spotless. Seats are perfect, front and rear. Dash is perfect, it has this dash cover on it, but underneath, absolutely perfect not a single crack everything is just excellent condition Hundred and twenty-two thousand miles door panels perfect this is a manual windows car and these are pretty common to have rust on the underside of the hood none not a just uh just ugly you know the driver's side even the driver's side seat is perfect door jams no rust at all door panels perfect this car was definitely cared for and it shows so let's move on to the plans with this car. Input is always appreciated because I'm not 100% sold on what I'm going to do exactly. So if you didn't know, in my red car, which is now LS1, LS1 swapped, I had a built for boost high horsepower S50 with a dual disc clutch and an E46 M3 six speed transmission. Now the head gasket went on that. It's just been sitting here and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it. I thought I was gonna put it in this car but I just wasn't sure if I had the time or desire to do so, but I definitely do now. So I have that, the transmission is pretty much junk. It was junk when I got it, I got it cheap. Doesn't really like to shift in a second and it whines. So I'm gonna need to source another E46 M3 transmission. Clutch is still good, hardly any miles on it. Replace the head gasket on the engine and start ordering a bunch of parts to swap that in here. I was initially gonna put the engine in here and just run it NA. I don't know if I wanna do that 
or if I want to just go straight to boost. So the goal of this car is high horsepower. It's just going to be a really, really fun street car just to cruise around in basically. So I'm probably going to buy a top mount turbo manifold and a turbo capable of 700 to 1000 horsepower ish. Haven't decided on a turbo. Also probably going to go mega squirt for engine tuning. You can get a plug and play kit that just goes right into the harness. Should be pretty simple. I do want working AC and heat in this car. I want it to be nice to drive. Suspension wise, going bags, going airbags all around. I've never had a car on bags. I've always wanted one. This is the perfect one to do so because this is not going to be any kind of performance car. It's literally just a high horsepower car to drive on the street and have fun. Definitely going wide body. Don't know if I'm going to do it in phases. Maybe for now, just do an upgraded wheel and tire that just looks a little nicer and drive around and then wide body it. Don't know if I'm going to go some type of E30 M3 fenders or like a Pandem kit or over fenders like my E36, I don't know. Let me know your comments because that's totally up in the air. I really don't know what I want to do with that. I do know that I want it to be wide, wide and low. Now the car does have no rust or anything, but the paint isn't perfect. I'm going to do a full complete buff polish and wax to it and just see what I can bring out. Clear coat has faded in some spots, couple minor dents here and there, but I, the paint is generally good enough to drive it around and have a pretty good looking car. But eventually, yes, when I wide body it or shortly thereafter, we'll be getting a full respray. And I'm also going to repaint the engine bay just like I did in my E36. So if you guys have any thoughts or comments about what you'd like to see done to this car, let me know because it's still all pretty open. Nothing is fully set in stone except for boost and airbags and wide body. Those three things. If this video and upcoming videos get a good amount of views, I'll keep doing them. However, if this doesn't get much interest like the first video, I'm not going to put this on YouTube. Basically, I'll build the car and I'll do like a, a 10 minute relapse at the end or something like that. I don't want to waste my time videoing and editing and doing all that to a car that nobody's going to watch. So hopefully you E36 guys will be interested in this. If you guys do want to see this full build on YouTube, give it a thumbs up and a comment. Just let me know so I don't waste my time and you guys' time. With all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you look forward to future E30 videos because I'm looking forward to building this car. We'll see you next time.